It seems like the 2023 Nigerian elections are starting four years earlier as posters showcasing future candidates have been seen in different parts of Nigeria. Although none of the showcased politicians have openly declared their intention to run, there are rumors that they are planning to contest and are using proxies to push their agenda. I wonder, is this what we need at this time? With me to discuss this are my guests. We have uh, Tunji Abdul Hamid, a legal practitioner, and of course, Obi Ajebo, a legal practitioner. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you. Posters, um, let me just see uh, how I put it here. It includes Bola Tinubu, El Rufai, um, National Chairman of the APC, Adam Soshomole. Many are saying that. This administration is barely off the ground and we're seeing this. What is your immediate reaction when you hear stuff like this? Uh, it shows that, uh, you know, like I've always been saying that uh, those in poli uh, our political leaders think about uh, election, not about how to govern. So from the day they start uh, one election, they finish one election, that is the day they start thinking about the next uh, election. And they are all, they are, they, all their plan, all their program, all their policies will be based on that uh, politics. The, what happened to Saraki in 2015 was not because of Nigeria, it was because of 2019. The issue of uh, you became uh, the senior president, senior president. I will, not, will not agree, will fight you today. The, the fight is not, it's not something that cannot be settled. Even if you, even look at the circumstances that he, they say he came into office, that can be settled. But because they, they knew that 2019 is coming up and they want, to, well, they want some people kept their profile to be, to, be, to be kept low or lower, they trying to uh, attack them. I think it, is, it will be premature to be unfortunate and to be unnecessary for anybody to start campaigning for 2023 now. When we are not even started, uh, even the, 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 the election of the, of, uh, of the president regarding the 2015, uh, what's it called, 15 election, is same being challenged. We have not concluded that. And people, the minister just came into, into office, not barely a month or so. It's even up to a month. And we are talking about uh, uh, the next uh, 2023. And that, my worry now is that that will occupy their mind and that will be the basis upon which we'll be going. Uh, there won't be any governance, there won't be serious uh, uh, issue. And all issues will be based on politics, politics, politics. But anyway, just like you said, it's, it's rumor. None of them have said, I want to contest. Though there's nothing there's nothing there's nothing illegal. There's nothing illegal in declaring your intention at any time you at any time. There's nothing that is not prohibited under our law. What was prohibited under our law is that as a political party, you cannot start public campaign until ninety days before election. That is contained in section ninety of the of the of the of the of the of the 2010 uh, what's it called uh, electoral uh, act. So that is the only thing that is prohibited. Individuals can declare interest at any time. Okay, so then there are those that are saying, I'm taking this from, I'm speaking from two sides of my mm. mouth now, I'll ask you the first question. There are those who are saying that the possible motive could be to push these people to contest in the elections. And then there is another school of thought that is saying the motive could be to create a divide among these people so as to achieve some political aim. What is your From what position? I've been saying, I think they just want to discredit a possible future candidate for presidency. So in that they discredit him when he's tarnished, then they feel that nobody will touch him. That's what me I'm seeing from what I've been reading. But I uh, but when I first saw all this then I saw Oshomali's um poster as president and El Rufai as the vice president, I found it very funny. Number one. And then number two, I said, Don't these people fear God? Between now and 2023, nobody knows who will be alive to see 2023. And they are already campaigning for something they are not in control of, something they are not in charge of. And it also speaks about us in Nigeria. We are always thinking of where we would reap, not where we will serve. Because what is the essence of campaigning? The, one you, the, the ones you told us that you want to achieve, you haven't even started talking anything about it. Where are the issues? Where are the, where are the things on oil? What are, where are the things on farming? The only thing I know the government is pursuing is this national livestock transformation policy. 
and where where are the main issues where are the foil what what do you do about gas flaring well there are so many issues that they haven't even touched and now they're campaigning about 2023 doesn't speak well of them okay there some of them are, are there the the three right? yes that, that was where i was going most of them are saying that at, at some point i believe tinubu had come out to say he has no hand um, with the posters that are being posted mm. about him for subsequent elections. And we know for a fact that three of such these politicians have said that they have no hand in this. However, there is this scenario where you see politicians at some point, when they do decide to campaign, it becomes something that they use to say, the people asked me to come and contest for this position. So they are denying responsibility for these posters at this point. Does it really matter? T trust me, the, the uh, 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 politicians in Nigeria, I'm also one of them. <laughs> uh, I also participate in politics. Okay. I'm also part of the politi po politicians. But I'm not a... Yeah, not my, dubious. My, my, no, my, 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 main, my main business is not politics. Yes. I have other things doing. I'm not, there, are, there are core politicians. They don't have any other yes. things apart from politics. Their life is politics. Let me tell you the truth. Sometimes they use so many tragedies. They will be the one to sponsor people mm -hmm. to say, go and be doing this in my name. You, to, test, to test the water. They will be the one that will give money to certain people, organize these people, let them do this on my behalf. They will be the one to say, uh, uh, some pe and some people will be doing it to seek favor from them. Or they would, they, some people will go to them and say, oh God, you can do this. You have the power to do this. Let's start this on your behalf. It will give go ahead. Then when he boomerang, he will say he is not aware of it. He wasn't even know about it. They are testing water. And is waiting. there a cabal in this country that presses our buttons when it suits them? We know there are um, comments that there seem to be a cabal in this administration. But let's do beyond this administration. Because things like this doesn't just happen. It is not random. What would you say to the school of thought that You've mentioned earlier that there are people, you know, trying to get an agenda. Is there a specific special group that does this just for their own stories? It's not for their own stories. It is, the, you know, the, the Machiavellian um, thing that says the end justifies the means. There are some people that want to have a particular result and they work tenaciously to achieve that result. They don't care whose ox is God, they don't care who gets hurt in the process, but they just want to achieve that result. If they want to remove somebody, uh, okay, let's take the, the former um, secretary, to, um, th that woman, the head of the civil servants. Uh, okay, Ita. Ita, it, started oh, yeah, like, it started like a joke. Uh, this rumor, rumor, then EFCC came, then the president said, no problem, where is she now? <laughs> she's on administrative leave, I think. Uh -huh. She's on administrative leave. I pray she comes back. Uh -huh. And that's the end. She's not coming back. <laughs> no, but but uh, uh, let's just veer a little and talk about that. She's on administrative leave. Does that end whatever it is, the investigation that was being carried out? Are we ever going to hear anything about that? Just quickly, before we go back to the conversation. We may, we may hear, we may not hear, but they, I, I'm, I'm sure that uh, she's not coming back. She's gone. <laughs> She's a goner. <laughs> She's gone. That's, that's the way it works. The only thing is that some people, you know, in this country, we are not, I don't want to go to that area the other time when she mentioned about the issue of, uh, because they are from the same, uh, from the same whatever. area. Yeah. But the truth is that it happens. Do you remember the vice president did uh, remove uh, uh, SAC, uh, the former DSS? Yes. Do you know the same DSS director that was SAC is still in the presidency as a special advisor to the president? And he's still occupying his former yes. office as DSS director. So what, are you talking, what are you talking about? The, 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 the former, what's it called, that was, that was sent packing from the presidency. Who was the presidency? Uh, I can't remember the name again. That man that said, who was the presidency? Yeah, yeah, SG. Is it not SG? I think it's SG. It's also, also part of the presidency. Though he's not officially there, but he's president. We know he is there. So, you know, the, that is the issue here. Hmm. All right, there, there's the been reactions, of, and similar to what the both of you have said, um, that this doesn't seem to be the right time to start. This uh, administration is just kicking off. Uh, the National Secretary of Area Consultative Forum uh, describes posters as harmful to Nigeria's democracy. It says the current administration is too young for politicking to, be, uh, to begin towards the next one. Does he have a point that our democracy it's not good for it is it true 
Well, I don't understand what he means by it's not good for it, but maybe he's saying that it's a distraction to the government. If he's saying it's a distraction, then he's 100% correct. But if those people that... Uh, first of all, I, for my life, cannot understand how Adam Sosiomali would want to be president of Nigeria. I cannot phantom it. And then he's right. This is right, but I cannot uh, fan on. We have to determine that whether he can become or not. Yeah. He let him put him, himself up. But the posters are already circulating. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. It's not from him. It's it's uh, it's it's well wishers that. Well way. wishers. Yes. Coming here, committee of unknown friends. Unknown people. Unknown people. No Faceless committee people, of friends. But with a lot of money to print, <laughs> print posters. So um, so yes, it's a distraction because um, like this, the different attacks on the person of Mr. Vice President. Is not good because today I have received proof for prof and against prof, and that is a distraction. It will even distract him to face his work because you know in Nigeria there's no smoke without fire. It could be somebody inside the presidency saying what has been discussed. We don't know, or it could be it could be somebody who wants to create a situation. We don't know, but whatever situation they want to create, please let us have peace so that we can follow this governance in these four years, and hopefully something good will come out for the populace. All right, just to uh, see if we can, you know, pull all this together and come up with something, and that is. What should be the focus of all politicians at this time, especially when the Nigerian citizen is daily lamenting of one, you know, inconsistency with government promises or living condition is one way that is not acceptable uh, global standard. What should be their focus as against getting posters and trying to politic four years ahead? What should be their focus now, particularly those in government now, that is the APC, that is the government in power, should be how to deliver their promises, the promises they made during the campaign. They promise to, 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 to make Nigeria a uh, Eldorado. They promise to, to take uh, 10,000, is it 10,000 or 10 million people out of poverty? You know, they promise to provide the, uh, the road uh, network. They promise to, to do so many other things, you know, which is their duty. So they promise to provide security. This should be their target. And they're talking about politics now will be a distraction, like, 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 like they say, and I, it will not be good for us as it, at this stage. They should be focused more on delivering of their political uh, uh, promises during campaign. That should be their, the basis now. And then anything that has to do with a campaign or whatever, I bet you it's a distraction. Your final thoughts? My final thought is the government should face the, the work of governance. There's so much poverty in this land, and it's unbecoming. They should, they should bring together the gap between the haves and the don't haves. They should do policies that are social, that are social, socially orientated to, because it's, it's, it appears that APC has a bit of socialist um, things in them. So let them do that so that, we, we, so that people will stop lamenting, people will start committing suicide. And, and, and if you have money in Nigeria, be comfortable and spend your money, not be afraid of who is coming after you or what not. I want to say thank you very much for coming on the program and sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you. All right. Thanks for staying with us. For our plus package today, we bring a number mm -hmm. of comments made by Nigerians on the granting of bail to Omoyele Shori by the Federal High Court. After that, I'll give you my take. Just stay with us. I'm free to go. Hmm?
My take tonight is more of a question. Is Nigeria a cake or bread to be shared? Are we just playing out scripts crafted by political enigmas whose purpose is to move characters around to tell stories that feed their interest? Some have gone as far as to ridicule the citizenry, saying our buttons are pressed by these actors and we rush like ants to sugar. Whether we agree or not, so long as the office of the citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is not the sole decider of who wields power in this country, then we'll continue to cry wolf. The focus of everyone, including political actors today, this year and in the next four years, should be to not only assist the government of the day to fulfill its promises to the people of Nigeria, but to keep them in check and ensure that they do not abuse the power that has been reposed on them by the citizenry. Let our collective purpose be to work for Nigeria of our dreams and not to plot the next lucrative power-sharing deal that keeps the Nigerian people in continued servitude. And that's our program tonight. We're always happy to hear from you. Let us continue the conversation on our social media platforms at Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. Be safe and I'll see you tomorrow.